Hey guys, it's Jesse, and this is Chris, my boyfriend. You may have seen him before if uh, any of like the 30 of you watched. <laughs> Hard to say. Um, Jesse BC on Poshmark, and that's the only place because I don't have any other social media for it. Uh, today we're back with another Thread Up Shoe Box because that's literally all I buy, apparently. I do have a few others coming that's not Thread Up related soon, so stick by, you know? Stay tuned. All right, so we got the shoe box. Not open. Cool. Got it. Um, oh, here's some scissors. Uh, they came from Mechanicsburg, PA, because that is about two hours away from me. So Chris is going to go through, say what he thinks first, and then, well, I'll Are probably... Different yeah, they've got like four distribution centers, maybe? I know that. Uh, Georgia, Phoenix... Oh. last box so i did a box right before this which i may or may not post because i was pretty negative in it because i was not very excited because if you've seen my other videos i've gotten relatively lucky with my boxes so all right you said oh boy a few times so i don't know which direction we're going with that okay so we got a pair of blue heels here by it looks like rogue nine rogue rouge yeah r-o-u G E, but the G looks like a nine. This is helium on it. Can you imagine? You can see that. They're the Rachel. The Rachel memory foam insole. So that's always in good. a ten. In a ten. Bottom looks pretty good. They don't look like they've been worn very much. No, but they do look very cheaply made. Yeah, they're not great. So we got a Franco Sardo pair of black heels. I don't know that brand. Yeah. Um, it looks, I don't know what size they are. Seven. Nope, I made that up out of the dog hair that was in it in the shape of a seven. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> um, the bottoms look really nice on it, though. I don't know what this brand is. Frank or anything. And it looks like just like a classic black high heel. Yeah, they are in very good shape. Uh, good shape. I do not see a size on it either. So either I'll measure or it might be under the tongue where I can't. See. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, they are a U.S. six and a half. Okay, so that's a really good shape, really good condition. Yeah. I just don't know that brand, so I don't know. Franco Sarto. Uh, it's okay. Okay, just okay. We will see. We shall indeed. I see, we got a lot of heels so far. Ugh. Um, nickels. It's tan average heel i don't i'm assuming nickels is not a good brand i've never heard of it it sounds like a crappy brand i haven't heard of it either but these are kind of gross size yeah. eight and a half they're it's called set. the dorothy because I, someone with the name dorothy her approximately her age range would be i had a Sorry. teacher seventh grade dorothy that was her name i do kind of like that name but but yeah they're not very well they're pretty grody yeah that's a no for me, folks. Yeah, I'm not having good luck on the. Uh, I today. actually don't really like selling heels. I don't know other people. Well, then you're not gonna like this one. Mm. So, got a pair of just. Yep. Fa no. Just fab. Oh, heels. good. Just in case you need to lock them on. That's right. In case you're going running, you know. There is a lock and a key with it. Shout out Netflix. Hmm. Um. But it is... It's kind of, so... These are marked up, too. Yeah. Almost all black spots on it. Yeah. The bottom... I don't think the bottoms are ever worn. I just think they were stored poor, terribly. And when, how they were shipped, they just got boxed around. Because look at the bottoms. Yeah. Uh, Just Fab is like a... You can, like, mon monthly subscription for shoes. Oh, okay. They're super cheap. These are a size 8. If we can clean it up, maybe. But... I don't think Pretty so. crappy. Oh, boy. Look at these fancy shoes. Okay. These are Joe Boxer. Okay. I think this is like a Kmart. Yeah, I don't think it's a very good brand either. It's but they're like kind of cool looking. Yeah. They might be worth listing for the style because they're like a red velvet, right? Yeah. That's kind of. Kyle. Interesting. Heel's not bad. A little dirty, but I mean, yeah. the bottom's But not like nice. worn. It's not worn. It's just dirty. What size are they? Eight. Uh, yeah, eight. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't think they're really worth anything, but their style's okay, so uh, maybe. Not having as good as luck as the last box. No, I am not. Okay. 
Well, look at, you got some Sam Edelman flats here. Okay. All right. These are interesting looking. Better, better. Very big, big gems on the mm -hmm. front of it. Uh, uh, I'm assuming bottoms, that's probably calf hair. Bottom's pretty nice, I'd say. I don't see really too much yeah, wear. Yeah, just a li little wear on the heels. Yeah. At least on mine. But. Uh, these I'm... are a eight leather upper. But the Galena. So. All right, we've got some biggers. Okay. Woo! Big old, big old boots. Oh, but gross. By Fabulous. F A B U L S. No, they're uh, Steve Madden, but look at the oh, inside. Steve Madden. What? Okay, it's foul. Is it foul? Look at that weird. Oh, yeah, it's a weird imprint. What the heck is even. That would be the most uncomfortable thing in the world. What's yeah. yours look like? Uh, I can't really see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. What did this person even do? Yeah, this one's flat, so. I don't even know how that would happen. Like, I think maybe they taped them down very, very terribly. Yeah, these aren't very good. That's unfortunate because they are at least, like, very lightly worn, so I don't even. Maybe we can fix that. I don't know. I can try. But... Literally, what? Like, there's. Why? <laughs> why? Nice, nice piece of gum there, looks oh, like. Nice. But that can come off. Yeah. That's annoying. All right, well. <sighs> Can't win them all. Can't win them all. On to the next with these. Nice fluorescent pink-ish. I have no idea what these are. Signature by, it looks like Sunshine. I don't know what that logo is. If you guys know what that logo is. They are called the ter Terrain, maybe? In a size 8? Size 8. Let's see, they are Not synthetic, synthetic. Yeah. So, nope. Not great. Pretty poorly made. This is not looking good. Not a great box so far. No. And they do come with a little, like, comfort thing in there, which is good, I guess. Yeah. But, nope. So far, I am listing one shoe that mm. I know of. All right, here's a little fancy green heel boot <laughs> thing. These are cute. Nine West. Nine West? That's a, I heard that right before. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah, I heard just okay. Size six. Mm -hmm. I leather, like the color. Leather upper. It is a pretty cool color with the green. That's and the a, kitten heel, the, like the shorter heels, are pretty popular right now. Yeah, and you definitely can still see the groove. I mean, they're worn, but they're not, like, you can see the groove. They don't really like, have creasing or anything. Yeah, they don't, like, you can, these are, these are in pretty good shape. The interior is in good shape, so yeah. I'm going to list these. Because <laughs> I have to. Yeah, I agree. <sighs> clean up a little bit, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, suede. I like to clean anyway. I'm assuming these are real suede. Leather upper, yeah. Okay. I don't know how to say that word. But they're made in Italy, so that's nice. It's always promising. I have no idea. Uh, mm, grin. Mm. <laughs> grin. G-R-I-G-I-A-R-A-N-C-I-O. Grigoranchio. Sure. Cougar on shit. In a six. I don't know. Probably not, but. They're kind of cool, though. Yeah, they're nice. It says made in Italy. Uh, Have these. They're a size 37, so six. I mean, bottom. This is leather and elastic upper, leather quarter lining, leather rubber sole. Wow. Yeah, Vero Cool. Ooh, man. I really so, can't read this. <laughs> a lot of leather. Pretty but cool, though. They, yeah, I like these. Good shape, for sure. I'll definitely list those. Yeah. They're Research. Research. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. Well, Merrill's a good company. Yeah, and these are really good condition. These look like they're not even worn. Oh, yeah. Look, they're never worn right. at all. Well, Merrill's a good one, though. Yeah, Merrill, like a hiking, it's kind of like a, yeah, hiking company. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely like a comfort nice. Comfort and outdoors. Yeah, it's a size seven. Size seven of the Merrill's. And they're high quality. Yeah. Do you have good yours? Good quality. And Did it they is. goofily print? Yeah, they print them on the... And very good condition. Like, I don't think they've ever been worn. Yeah. So that's nice. They're the Tahoe, I think. Selector grip. But these will sell, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. They're not the cutest things in the world, but... I think they're not bad. Mer Meryl has a really good following. Oh my gosh, I was watching this video, like a thread up video, and this girl kept calling Meryl's Morels, And so now <laughs> I just said it by accident. Well, we can't really pronounce anything either. Oh, no, I can't. But it's... Oh, they must have been sold at, like, a, another Goodwill for $12.99 or so. Well, there we go. There we go. 
Okay. Um, we got like some Birkenstocks, but oh, cool. But they're like slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like the plastic yeah. rubber ones. I got Birkenstocks in my last one too, which is nice. Yeah, these are interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting for but sure. They won't sell for a lot, but they will sell. So. Um, in a silver. Yeah, very good condition. Never worn. Never yeah, worn. I don't think so. I don't think in a size forty-one. Yeah. Uh, I do not know. This 41 is the one I, is is the one I said was interesting shoe because I was like, "This is weird looking." Okay. I knew it was a Birkenstock too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, those are good. When you stick with one Birkenstock, you get another. Really? Yes. Yes. Size. The Boston. Size thirty-eight. They don't look like they've they're, ever been worn. They're built for the high arch, yeah. and so they are. High arch. The last ones I got were a 38 too. That's interesting. Wow, and these look like they've never been worn. Uh, Maybe once or twice. No, actually, I don't, I don't feel any toe. There's no imprints. toe imprints. And it's a I would, perfect heel. I would say no. Perfect. Uh, I'm guessing it's the same person who donated the last one, same size. So, and the last person didn't wear them either. These are the Boston. I have a, one for sale right now, and they're not in very good shape. But people don't seem to want to spend very much money on hey. them. Kyle. I thought I was eating something. Kyle, are you eating someone's dirty shoes? So, yeah. But um, But these are real leather on the top. And cool. Yeah, just like a rock. It's like, but perfect, perfect. Yeah, so I'm assuming they were worn like once. And the person was just like, there's way too much work that goes into getting these broken in. Which I understand. Well, that was that's a good one. That's a good one. Back-to-back -back Birkenstocks. Go-Go yeah. Mat by Skechers. Okay, these... Uh, Skechers sells, even though they make kind of weird looking yeah, look at this. Look at this. Blue. This is a crazy blue. The this toes, thing is light. Yeah, it is. The toe's a little crushed from the box, I'm assuming. Yeah, from the box. So yeah. I'm going to stuff them and these see These are a size eight and a half. Goes. Wow, look at the tread on the bottom. Like, goofy. Yeah, it's weird. I bet they're comfy AF. Yeah, they don't look like they've been worn very often, so maybe the person just didn't like the feel. Oh, look at these things. They go down. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are odd. These are odd. These are an odd shoe. Yeah. But I will probably list it as long as the toe is not destroyed. It looks like they're in good condition, though. Mm hmm Your toe is in better shape than mine, I think. Well, we'll see. That's a funky shoe. Okay. So we got a Michael Antonio mm -hmm. wedge. I don't know what that is. I think I got one of those last time, and they weren't worth anything. Okay. Well. <laughs> I think. Yeah, the front of this is kind of, look at this. Oh, man. I hate that. Yeah, the toe's so kind of jacked up. Immediate. Oh, mine has it too. And it's not like jacked up where I can like glue it or anything back down. That just ruins the whole integrity of the shoe. So, that's no. To the garbage. To the garbage now. All right. Franco Sarto. Okay. Didn't look. we get another one of those earlier? Look at those. Pretty cool looking. Yeah. Why not St. Patrick's Day shoes? <laughs> so, oh, so kind not. of flat with a weird design in the front. Kind they're of they're cool, like embroidered. Yeah, they're not bad. Embroidered. Not bad. In pretty good shape. There's not really. Huh, Sloan. And that was they're the Sloan. Yeah, the Sloan. That's his uh, niece's name. Yeah, that's funny. They are fabric upper, balance man made. Okay. Size nine, good shape, good mm -hmm. condition, but. Look at these. These are crazy. What are these? Look at this thing. Oh, look at, look at the heel. The whole bottom's coming right off. I the, feel like that can be glued. It can. Go. I don't know. That's really irritating. Yeah. See, this is what I want to know. Like, I'm paying $120 for these boxes, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm expecting to get shoes that I can at least do something with, not just like throw in the trash. Am I supposed to reach out to them when things are like so badly bad that I can't even do anything with? Leave your comment in the section with what you think she should do. <laughs> He's right. Do that. All, um, all five of you. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea what brand this is, but I actually think these, as kind of silly looking as they are, they're so fun that I think these would do pretty well. Yeah, and then I think, I feel like this is really easily gluable. Like, it's it not, is. like, it's not in bad condition, but I feel like the glue just came a part of it. 
So it's not like it's a bad thing. I feel like that could be I fixed. Don't, it can, and I have shoe super glue for it. But I don't know if that would kind of take away my integrity if I did that. Why? Because, like, wonder if they get them and they're fine for, like, a day or two, and then they wear them a third day and it falls off. Why well, can't you just put that in the description? No, yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. Let's go with these guys. Oh. These are Steve Madden's. Mm -hmm. Nice little black boot mm -hmm. with a weird buckle. Two word buckles. They're the Zillion. Size 8. That's the name of them. I just read. Yeah, okay. <laughs> They're in good shape, though. Yeah, good shape. So that's fine. Heels great shape. Yeah. All right. I can sell them. Steve Madden okay. doesn't sell for much, but a little clean up and we'll be all right. How about... <laughs> Some Converse All Stars without shoelaces. One has shoelaces, one does not. No, that's not that big of a deal. So we can get the laces, but these are actually in really good shape too. We can clean these up. Yeah, these are the Shoreline. I just sold a pair. Size eight. Good looking shoe. Red, white, and blue. You no, know what's weird is like the sole is almost completely still in shape. Like they have like this felt on it, mm -hmm. but the white is not bright. And, like, there's no foot embedding. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. signs of wear on that. It's interesting. It's exposed to light. Maybe. But overall, they look pretty good. These can get cleaned up and be fine. Yeah. yeah. I could honestly just put these in, like, the washing machine. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of cool without the shoelace. I like, yeah, I like, the, I like the Converse. Those are nice. But, uh, yeah, I just need to get a shoelace. Which I don't have really any. The bottom is worn. I'm a liar. Cole Haan. Okay. Black boot. They are. They're nice feeling. Seven like, and a half. Nice and soft. Soft. Uh, from fall of 16, I'm assuming, is what the F16 means. The front is like a leather and the back is like a suede. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, they're warm, they're but good, they're not No, terrible. they're in good shape. It looks worse than it actually is. Like, it's just... Yeah, just, like, the bottoms, like, that wear pretty quickly, like... Yeah, the paint came off. Yeah. But, no, that's fine. I will list those. For sure. Nice. One black boot to another black boot. These don't look great. These nope. are Circus. Circus by Sam Edelman. So, not a high retail value, but they are pretty cute, the style. So they should probably still sell, just not for very much moolah. Yeah. The bottoms are all right. Are these meant to be worn at a circus? Is that why? No. Circus is like, you know, like Michael Michael Kors is the cheaper one. Mm -hmm. Circus is Sam Edelman's cheaper one. I don't know. Why. That's weird. Maybe. Why isn't it Sam Sam Edelman? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to, you know. Or Sam Edelman Edelman. You'd have to ask him. Is it a man? Also don't know. Okay. But they're okay. Not bad. What size? Uh, 10. Size 10. Okay. I do like getting some of the bigger sizes. About another pair of Converse. Look at these fuzzy things. Interesting. Fuzzy black Converse. These are actually in pretty good shape, too. Look, I feel like leather. These feel pretty nice. Oh, huh, they do. Yeah. These feel pretty nice. I... Bottom's yeah. perfect. Like, they've never been worn. Uh, there's some wear on the heel, but not much. Um, what size are these? Wow, they're always on the bottom. That's weird. There's no size on the bottom. Huh. It's kind of oh, weird. it's got Velcro. Cool. Pretty cool shoe. I've never encountered uh, a Converse fuzzy. that the size wasn't just like on the bottom. Yeah, and it's fuzzy all the way inside. Yeah, like all the way to the top. And the fuzzy, fuzzy isn't gross either. Yeah, it's nice. It's in good condition. I feel like you could, like, this is good thing we're going into summer because it's a nice winter shoe. <laughs> That's okay. Winter Converse. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I like those. Got some Pajars. Oh, I actually just, uh, someone is doing like a name your price sale for like getting rid of all her stuff. And they had a really cool pair of these boots. And I put in an offer and I have them coming in the mail. Uh, it says US nine, nine and a half. These are expensive. These are nice. They're in pretty good condition. I like this. This is pretty I cool. I do, too. They remind me of, like, an upscale Tom. <laughs> yeah, and it's got, like, a like, nice little, like, uh... What size do you I don't know, like, rope. 
bottom finish and then a nice little blue on the toe. Yeah, it's kind of like a finish. I like these. These are cool. Wicker. These are nine nine and a half. Where does it say that? Uh, it's very, it's, look at, believe it or not, it's just, you see it right in the corner there. Oh my gosh, yeah, because so, it's gone on mine, so yeah, that's so good. Yeah, so nine, nine and a half, that's what it says. I think these are cool. Yeah, not a lot of wear on the on the heel, no. or the bottom at all. And the suede is in really good shape. Yeah, this the, is cool. The wicker. Yeah, uh, cool shoe. Cool, 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 cool. I like the tread, even. I think it's like a fish or something, I like that. All right, a pair of Coach Flats. Okay, all right. All right, all right. Six and a half. Oh, they're in good shape too. Good I like shape. the color. It's kind of. Shape. I don't even know what color it is. Salmon. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a salmon on the uh, on the top part, if you can see that. But uh, obviously, the bottom is just a pure leather. Uh, in really good shape, I think. Yeah, minus two. Heel is in great condition. I doubt they go for like too much, but a little bit of wear, but that's natural. But yeah, whatever color this is, just a T strap thong. Yeah, this is pretty cool. What was that? I want to see if you had a reaction to the name Thong. What do you think I am? Five? No, I think you're 30. That's I am. I just Apologies for the ridiculous facial hair. I just outed Quarantine. you for your age. Quarantine. I'm growing a beard for the first time. He's very proud of it. I'm not. It looks horrible. You could shave it then. No. Nope. I'll let it go. I think, you, I, I think you look great. I don't know what these are, but they are funky. Let me tell you. I have quite literally no idea what they this have. They have zero markings saying what they are. Besides, they're a size 40. See yeah, it right there? they have the size. But look at the bottoms. Look at that shoe. This is a funky shoe. This could be like a custom shoe that somebody just made. But you can definitely tell it's printed on, like, it's not hand drawn on. Yeah. A pair of Nike Runners. Okay. Nike Freeze? Yeah, Nike Freeze. Okay. TR6. Okay. And they're, these are a size eight and a half. They're from 2017. A little bit of wear, but nothing crazy. No, they're fine. And I, I like Nike Freeze. I'm a fan of Nike. I'm I like it. Very light. Wearing some right now. I'm not. I'm not going to do that, but I have the Utah Royals Nike. This, Shout no, out this is U USA V, everybody. Yeah. We're fans of the U.S. Women's National Team. For sure. Um... But yeah, I think these are these are pretty nice. These are a women's eight and a half, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good condition, I think. Hmm. Okay. Listable. I like I like selling sneakers, which is why I was really irritated last box when I got sneakers that were unsellable. Let's say, didn't you get a just shoe box? Obviously, I sell sneakers. All right. I don't know if these are anything, but the name sounds familiar to me. Kate Spade. Okay. Kate Spades are expensive, typically. Kate Spade, flat, with a little bit of heel on it. Um, weird little bow tie. In the front, blue with a red bow tie. Uh, they are a size 7. Mm-hmm. So. They are, you can definitely still have wear to them. Yeah, you can still see the Kate Spade though thing, so think I don't think. for the most part, other than like the bottom, I can clean them up. Yeah, the bottoms look, looks like somebody stepped on a bunch of gravel. Yeah. But they, I mean, they're, they feel fine. Like, they feel like they're in good condition. Like, mm -hmm. they're sturdy. They don't yeah, yeah, feel yeah. crappy. Um, but, yeah, these can get a little cleaned up a little bit. And I think these would be good to go. And that's the end of the box. Well, that's annoying. How do you feel about that box? It was, definitely is not as good as our first video. Go back and watch it if you haven't. Uh, much better box. Mm. The last video. Mm -hmm. um, but... A couple, it started out really poor, and I feel like it got better as it went on. Yay. Bye, guys. Right.